Yo, what is going on? Everybody. It's your boy, the Wolf of Crypto here, man. Another episode of, you know, Crypto Millionaire Journey. Hey, hey, hey now. Uh, y'all, y'all been watching the market here? Uh, we took a bit of a nosedive and you know what? Part of me was waiting for this to happen, but hey, I'm seeing some opportunities here, folks. Yeah, Bitcoin dipped under 50k, first time in a long time here, and along with it, a lot of these altcoins they dip. Current market cap is at 1.907 trillion. Uh, some things are actually starting to rebound here a little bit, but again, I'm, I'm just like, Ooh, black Friday sale. And I guess from what I'm hearing, reason why, uh, the market took a bit of a dip is everybody saying that, uh, this new, yeah, this new tax rate that your boy is uh, Joe Biden looking at here. And uh, it's like, what, bro? Like, looking at a tax rate as high as 43.4% in the next economic package. Talking about Joe Biden's going to propose a capital gains tax rate for the wealthy to help pay for the raft of social spending that addresses long-standing inequality. I'm like, whoa, that's, that kind of sucks. So if you're earning, if you're earning one mil or more, your, your new tax rate could be, be pretty nasty. And apparently there's also a possible 3.8 percent tax on investment income that funds Obamacare would be kept in place Ooh, pushing the tax rate on returns on financial assets higher than rates on some wage and salary income so that's why everybody's like okay the market slid okay so if the market slid and depending on what project you're following? I I feel like that's it's, it's an opportunity, an opportunity, excuse me, to go ahead and go get you some more. I mean, I was even looking at someone. Now again, yeah, I do play with stocks here and there, but I mean, I should kind of say I'm watching them. I watch some of them. So this correction went down. It's under $15. It's at like 14 bucks right now. Farfetch actually took a pre nosedive beyond means pre down. I'm like, okay. I mean, Tesla's rebound. It's almost back at $800. Coinbase is under $300. I'm like, hmm, okay. Let's see how that, see how well that can go. Uh, What's the other one? Neo is at $41. Probably should have cop some. On that thirty-five, thirty-six dollar range, but like I said, we are watching. And then CCIVs at twenty bucks, but you know those are just stocks. But let's get back to the the nitty gritty where we make the where we make the moolah crypto. Okay, so right now current prices, Bitcoin's at you know fifty fifty racks, close to that fifty-one right range. Ethereum took a fall, but it was like, wow. It's back to like 23, 34 right now. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the F was like close to hitting 2,700. That run was looking nice. Cardale did actually fall to like close to like a dollar. Uh, currently at dollar 15 all these prices are coming from live coin watch.com don't have that in your arsenal go 
go ahead and add that. Polka dot, eh, it took a dip, you know, it's at $31. E-Swap also took a dip. Litecoin definitely took a dip. I think it got as low as like 220 range. Right now it's at 237. Definitely thinking about going ahead and grab some more. Them boys at Chainlink. Chainlink right now at like 3450. Chainlink got low like 31. I threw some in. Uh V Chain took a pretty pretty nifty toll right now at 19 cents. Stellar took a toll. It got to I think it was low of 39 cents I've seen. Right now it's at like 44 cents. They took a little little damage. Nine bucks. Solano. Still kind of pulling strong, man. Solano is Solano is ooh, man. That project has been performing pretty well. Filecoin took a bit of a dip. It's at one thirty eight, mind you. This was a coin that was like two twenty five. Tron's at ten cents. Neo sleeper pick, folks. Neo is definitely a sleeper pick. I feel like people been ain't been. Uh, doing their homework, ain't been watching. Neil's fell to $84, but it was like what 111. Shoot, I got in. Whew, I got in. I got in when it was $44, and part of me was like, Man, why didn't you buy more when it was $15, $20? Sheesh. But you know, it is what it is. EOS took a bit of a hit, $5.43 right now. Shoot, I think EOS was like freaking like eight bucks, man. Cosmos rebound a little bit, 20 bucks. BitTorrent took a bit of a dive. It's at six of a penny. CRO, hello. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. CRO is. Whoa, whoa. It's pretty low. Low to the point where I'm like, hmm. Should I go ahead and add some more to my stash? Because I'm already staking these coins, so I'm earning CRO every Sunday. Of course, through Crypto.com, the app, the card, 3% <laughs> cash back. If you don't got one of those, you're bugging. Go get one. Like, seriously. 17 cents, though. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Discount. Luna. About 14 bucks. Another discount. Waiting for them to see if they can get back to that $20 range. Hello. Tezos. Under five bucks. $4.75 right now. That took a bit of a dive. Uh, and a lot of people feel like Tezos was gonna hit is gonna hit ten dollars here. Uh Avalanche took a dive. Mana mm, Mana kinda did, but mana's been doing well. Nim for sure did. Uh, they for sure did. They're at twenty eight cents. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a dip for them. H bar took a dip. Engine coin took a dip. Matic, Max actually been booming. Nexo, Nexo's been doing solid. Nexo's at three dollars and forty cents. Man, that's, that's something. Uh, Zilka at fifteen cents. Hmm, I feel like I've seen it at this price before. I feel like that'd be a Nice little entry. Digibyte, 12 cents. Uh man, Digibyte, man. Digibyte has been performing very well. Very well. And then I'm trying to think. Ontology's at dollar fifty. Not too shabby. And ontology was two dollars and some change. Nano took a bit of a dip. I mean nano's at about nine dollars. ZRX, ay ay ay. ZRX is at dollar forty five. That is another coin that was two at two dollars not too long ago. And then of course Harmony took a huge dump. They're at ten cents. KuCoin shares, man. I ain't even I was sleeping on them there. They're at eleven dollars right now, but man, they was like at uh I think it was like 15, 14 here, uh, not too long ago. And that was a coin. I actually forgot I had some because just because if you trade on their platform, um, 
you are able to earn some KuCoin shares. Of course, if you hold KuCoin shares, you earn more. It's just, ah, uh, but I didn't see, I didn't see that one coming, man. I didn't, I'm not going to cap to you. I, that, to see that, that high, this is also a coin that was, I mean, hi, hi, hi. It was at like, I remember it was at like a dollar fifty, like two dollars, like you know, around around those days, like like that time period. That was that was pretty wild. But we're talking about a coin that was at like you know, as high as I think what nineteen dollars. Come on, I right. imagine. Oh yeah, exactly. Imagine if you, of course, bottom. Under shoot, five dollars, even ten dollars. But if you're buying it under a dollar, when it was some, when it was cents, it was some change. Definitely hit on that one. And there's also another one that, you know, I didn't even know that it was really, it was really hidden. And that one's a uh, metal. Metal here is at uh, currently at three dollars and thirty three cents and. Got about a hundred of those just from when the early days when they had their first, you know, referral program. They were giving out free metal, yada, yada, yada. But they also turned into exchange. That's another thing. You hold their metal coins, you know, with train fees, yada, yada, yada. So there's that incentive. But a lot of these different exchanges that be having their own coins, <clears throat> it's kind of a not too bad idea to just put some money and just kind of hold them in those particular tokens. Reason why I say that, biggest example, uh, <laughs> BNB, man. Um, Binance coin, like, bruh. Current price is at $520, which is nutty. Nutty, because I remember when the high of like 30 bucks was like, oh, well, like, you know, Wow, Binance coins at thirty dollars. Like, that was it's pretty nice. And then what happened? It uh, it took off. It um, like a shot of a cannon, like on some crazy, craziness. Five hundred and twenty dollars for Binance coin. But again, a coin. For exchange has been, you know, Binance has been around for a minute. Binance is constantly, you know, developing, moving forward, innovations, partnerships, like they're constantly doing something. And man, I'm kind of glad, like, if you traded on Binance, you know this, you know, times where you have like a small, real small portion of a certain coin. You're able to kind of just basically kind of just exchange those back into, you know, BNB. So, you kind of hold them that way. And I think there was a point where I got to, like, you know what? Well, one, you know, the U.S. citizens got kicked off. So, it was like, bro, we got to we gotta convert these anyway. And just get them off. So, converted those. And mind you, at that time, wow, I didn't even like have like a full, full one, but ended up being like 0.9 around that range. And it actually worked out pretty solid because I'm like, yo, huh, who would have thunk it, but. Uh, more coins that get listed, more money that gets on there, the more users, like longevity of Binance. Binance coin is going to uh, continue to go up. And then it's like, well, what are the next exchange coins that are like going to potentially go up? Well, Let's see if we actually could find the next one. I mean, there's a couple out there. I named you a couple. You got KuCoin shares, which, you know, 
all time high of being, you know, twenty bucks. KuCoin's a pretty I would say KuCoin's a pretty big exchange. But again. The longer it's here, the more users that come on the platform. Hey, who knows? Maybe KuCoin shares does hit like a hundred dollars. Possibility, I would say it's it's pretty possible. I've seen one coin do it. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, Huobi token. I think they had one as well. I mean, their token's at eighteen dollars right now currently, with a all time high of twenty six dollars. So it's like. It's another exchange. Same thing. What happens, you know? Longevity, more users. More coins are added. Like, maybe you, uh, be Token is the next token to jump to $200, $300. Is it possible? Man. Things you see in crypto, hey... For exchange, I would say, yeah, it's possible. I mean, even Metal Pay, which is not really, it's not really a big exchange. I'm pretty sure if I were to do a survey on how many people actually know about the app, that are really not, you know, non-crypto users, people that are in the space that, you know, knows, knows what's going on. Pretty sure the numbers would be, uh, Pretty bad, like, I would say it'd be a, a slim amount of people that actually know about, you know, metal and their exchange, but, hey, what if they get to, like, $10, $12, even $18, like, you will be token, you know, they're another platform exchange that's adding more coins, what if they add, you know, other features, like, Earning interest, like that's another thing. Like some of these platforms, some of these exchanges that got to earn interest, their assets under management are constantly, consistently going up because more users, more money. So, I mean, Voyager token, hoo hoo, man, Voyager token. Another example. Right now, their token is at three dollars and forty six cents, and man. <laughs> Oh, I want to cry because I remember this thing was cheap. It was super cheap. Oh, super, super cheap. It's like, man, this could have, this probably made some people a lot of, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna care. Probably made some people millionaires because token was cheap and wow, the growth of their platform. It's been on fuego. And this is a token that was at, I think, like six bucks at one time. I remember what, I remember it was under a dollar for the longest time. I mean, cheaper than that. You can go further, further back. But it's booming. Again, what are they doing? Add more coins. They already have an interest problem, uh, interest program. They got a pretty solid referral program as well. So again, if you're a trader investor, and it's like, man, at least for me, all these type of different exchanges are at your, <laughs> are at your will to play with, and it's like, man, multiple ways, accumulate your crypto, stack it, build it. But that's another thing I be trying to tell people though, is even if you day trade, midterm, short term, long term, whatever it might be, just depend on, like I said, your strategy. I always like to take out profits because of situations like these where we have huge dips. Now I can come back and increase my position size even better, bigger. And then the returns are going to even be. <laughs> More, uh, 
more healthy. Emphasis on the healthy. And then also, too, when you can bring in some new money as well. Ooh. Because I've been... I've been waiting. Been waiting. Hoping that, man, sometime and point that we're going to have to... Can we get some dips? I want to go dip shopping. I love to go and dip shopping. That's how you... That's how you can get those, ooh, what, 20 percenters and up? I mean, oh, wow. Like I said, some a lot of these coins are down, but some of these coins that are down that I've been accumulating at the portfolio, trying to multiply even more. Again, I've been staking coins, so when I see dips like this, it's like, ooh, let's go ahead, get more of those. That way we can... Accumulate more interest. And just and it just goes hand in hand. But it's gonna be very interesting to see these next couple of days and see how the market performs. Again, a lot of people feel like yeah, the news with tax gains, yeah, it made the market slip. Alright, well shoot, get over it, man. They're going to keep probably rising the taxes. It's just, it's just the way the system is fortunately built. Nobody likes it. It sucks, but hey, man. Those are the cards that are dealt to you. You just got to be able to finesse and find ways. Just find ways. But, ooh. If we go into another... <laughs> We're going on another run, folks, and we're buying, like I said, we're, I'm just talking about Bitcoin here, buying Bitcoin under, under 50 or even under 60, because we saw what it did to 60. I kind of went through there and got to 64. Like, it was nothing. So, for the next target is 70, and potentially 70 plus, I feel like, again, we're bargain shopping right now here, folks. Yeah, part of me does hope it does get low to low for the for a uh, forty thousand range. That would be great, lovely. More, more like I said, you're getting it on sale. Cause you know, our next you know pump, you know we might hit the seventy mark. Who knows? We might hit seventy, go past to eighty. I mean, sheesh. This last bull run has been. Intense, man. It's been intense, but it's been fun. Also, too, it's been like, hmm. The growth of some of these projects, the returns that you're getting, they're just, ah. Uh. Oh, yeah. Before I get out of here, though. Got some announcements here, folks. Got some announcements here. Your boy is on another platform. It's called Vinny. Uh, definitely want to check it out. It's going to have just another hub of me giving out information in different ways. From different platforms, of course. And all different varieties, forms, and Shapes and sizes. But again, like I said, check me out on Benny. And then also too, man. What I got cooking up for the next episode. Ooh wee. The potential replacement to Twitter. It's called BitCloud. Oh man. I'll we'll be talking about that probably on the next episode. Yo. I can see why it's being dubbed that. I see why they're obviously that's kind of what their that's what their motto is. That's what they're going for. They want to replace the Twitter in the decentralized world. And man, I see a whole lot of potential. That platform can be 
could get very spooky. And it's still in the very, very, very early development stages. But like I said, stay tuned for that. Y'all gonna have to follow me on that as well. Again, there's just so many different platforms. But the crypto platforms, what's nice about those, there are ways of you can monetize, ways you can earn, ways you can make money. So it's like, mm, why not use them all? It's just like what you're accustomed to doing right now with your Facebooks and your Instagram, Snapchats and all that. Same thing, man. It's just this crypto platform built on blockchain technology. <clears throat> Excuse me. Crypto platform is built on the blockchain technology, man. Blockchain is... You gotta get yourself educated. And I'm thinking about buying me some NFTs soon as well. I'm thinking about also making some as well. It's just... Uh, creativity in the space of crypto, man. It's, like I said, it's always... It's always a lot. It's always my mind. Constantly thinking just different ways. Like, ooh, how we can we... How can we tap in over here? How can we create another passive income source over here? You know, you know what I'm saying? Y'all been y'all been tuning in, listening, subscribing. Y'all know that's what I'm about. I'm about trying to get this money, this this financial freedom, this this way of this different lifestyle, man. I'm just some people will be listening, but some people not hearing me. If you know the difference, then you understand you can you can relate folks but your boy's gonna go ahead and get on out of here i appreciate y'all tuning in listening to the podcast man uh, like i said the content is it's on the way like i said next episode we're gonna be talking about big clout and you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna question yourself. Like, man, should I really keep using Twitter? Hmm. Is it in my best interest? I mean, I'm not saying you can't not use it, but it's like, as far as putting your time and effort into a, you know, certain platform that I'm pretty sure people are trying, you know, build up their audience. I want to monetize off it. Why not, right? But the way they doing it over over there in these early stages, like I said, is it's gonna be something to keep your eye out on. Um, I'm also looking for that. Well. Kind of let next also Facebook crypto platform because like I said some of these platforms they competition man they come in for some of these companies some of these business models are pretty bobo like bobo trash mundo users ain't really users ain't capitalizing that that comes to a stop this world it does at least but i can catch me out on the podcast on acre breaker cast box google podcast apple podcast overcast pocket cast radio public and of course spotify it's been it's been fun y'all we back to work though again you know i'm not no financial advisor or anything like that Always tell everybody, hey, do your do your homework. Do diligence. Do it. Just don't take my word. Yeah, I'll give you advice. But at the end of the day, man, all investments are risky. But again, what's a little risk if you want some great rewards? Because the rewards are there. They are there in the space. Just got to find them. Find them. Hodl them. Simple. Take profits when necessary. I mean, like I said, follow the recipe. I got I got some formulas. I got you know, got some systems in place. They working. 
these platforms that I'm using, they're working for a reason. But you got to, like I said, you got to put time in it. Money is time. Time is money. Appreciate y'all tuning in. And until the next episode, Wolf of Crypto, we out. Peace, y'all.